Have you ever seen a blue tongue skink shed? They're not neat about it. It's a messy process. Their skin just kind of explodes all over the place in weird chunks. Learning and growing kind of feels like that. At least for me anyways. I've been reflecting a lot lately about my own growth, or at least how I've grown in my reptile keeping and through my reptile keeping. It's only been two and a half years or so, but I feel like a different person already. I also feel like I've made a decade's worth of mistakes, but I think that's just the anxiety talking. I'm a slow grower, like a boa, although I can't deny I do have some frantic colubrid energy at times. Either way, what I'm trying to say is that it can take a little while for me to integrate new information, which has always made me kind of a messy learner with a lot of awkward growth spurts. I feel like I'm in one of those awkward growth spurts right now, and I'm trying to challenge myself to not retreat back to the comfort of what was known, but push forward so I can keep growing. I like shedding as a metaphor because learning really does feel like leaving old parts of yourself behind. Like my former knowledge was constricting me and limiting my growth, so I need to toss it all off or neatly unroll it and shit in it and then leave it behind. Except I don't have the privilege of shedding my skin, so I'm shedding former versions of myself and trying not to do so with too much shame. Growing up is weird. I'm turning 30 this year and that doesn't feel super real to me yet, but I'm relieved for it. It feels like there are at least a thousand former iterations of myself that it took to get me to this point. You would think that this would make me feel less like a first draft, but it doesn't. Not yet anyways. The main thing I've learned so far is the importance of joy in this life, and I've been trying to integrate more joy into my life. Caring for reptiles or animals of any kind and working on enclosures is one of the only things I have infinite energy for. I could work sun up to sundown taking care of animals or working in a garden if my body would let me. I'm trying to pour more energy now into the things that give me energy back like that. I think that's part of why I'm planning to dive so deeply into this reptile thing. It took me years to learn the importance of joy and then even longer to figure out what it looks like in my life, but this is it. My animals bring me joy, and sharing them with others does as well. I've always been really drawn to or really seen the importance of vulnerability for connection. It's been my experience that the more vulnerable I am, the more other people are able to see themselves in me. The more we feel connected and human or whatever. Sharing anything on the internet is super vulnerable, and sharing how I'm caring for my reptiles while I'm still a novice means that I am almost certainly broadcasting my mistakes right now. That's the thing I've been thinking about a lot though, how mistakes are an inevitable part of learning, how cringy and shitty I used to be when I was younger, and how I'm only able to recognize that now that I'm grown. Growing up and learning means rejecting what you used to believe or think, almost constantly, which to me feels a little bit like rejecting or shedding parts of ourselves that we don't need anymore. I don't know, it's not like all of my videos will be about growth, they've mostly been about DIY stuff so far. I don't really know what I want them to be, but I know that this is what I want to be doing, so I'm going to try and figure it out, and be wrong, and try to be okay with that. So then what is Room for Reptiles? Honestly, it's a pretty generic name that I'm hoping to wear for a while until I have a clearer vision for this channel. I don't know what my specialty is or what I have to offer that others don't yet because I'm still learning how to make videos, but I find this work fulfilling and engaging and I'm passionate about it, so I want to start. Room for Reptiles is a beginning, a baby skin. Thank you for checking me out and please stick around to see what we might become together. And I guess, don't forget to make room for reptiles.